Hello, my name is Zekello Herod, and this is the Future Fiction Factory. What are we doing today? We are delving into the Story Bible. That's right, Pseudo Wright has made a brand spanking new tool just for you. It's an old tool that's new. Now, again. Okay, so. It used to be back in the day that there was this siloed thing called Story Engine. It was the place where you would sit back in this very, very specific little room and create your story so that you can bring it out into the main part of PseudoWrite and then use all of your laser tools and stuff. Well, they finally, finally introduced all of it into the same application. They've even changed a lot of the back end of the actual programming. They're using something else to actually render the program out and you get the benefit of the story engine being right in the middle of your entire story. Every single, every single chapter that you write has the story engine at the bottom. And as you write, it informs the, the story and the story Bible. God bless. I can't even stop calling it story engine. The story Bible informs your entire piece. That's why it's called a Bible now. Like a story, like when you're making a television show and you have a story Bible for a television show. Well, this is your story Bible that helps keep the AI on track and writing the things that you wanted to write. So let's get right into it. Let's play around with the story Bible. We are now in pseudo write. We're in one of the main, actual main, what you see when you start up a brand new document. This document right here is untitled. It has nothing in it. It does have this little toggle down here turned on, and that is your story Bible, okay? So right down here at the bottom is your story Bible, and then up here is all of your documents that you've created, and then, and this, and they're all part of like a master document, which is what it looks like, and then up here is your home, your write, so you can write the 20 words, and let's see here, describe, you can use all of your laser tools just like you could before. And let me zoom out right here. Oh, goodness. Now, actually, you can toggle everything, make everything bigger. There we go. As you can see, with each of the documents, they all, I'll, I'll put to, I'll put an actual document that has something in it. Okay, so now you can see that this has got some actual written stuff in it, right? And then you can have your, it. then it tells you about the story Bible. Let's see what it actually says about the story Bible. It says, tell PseudoWrite more about your story and it can help you write a first draft of every chapter. To get started, fill out the brain dump and genre below sections then use match my style with a sample of your writing to help pseudo write understand your style next fill in synopsis characters and outline or click generate and pseudo write will do it for you be sure to read pseudo write suggestions and make edits before proceeding once your story bible is all filled out will help you write the first chapter it says right here, welcome to Story Bible. Get started. It's easy. Just write uh, and paste everything you know about your story so far, and we'll help you build it out. And it does all of these things one by one. Now, tell the Story Bible the genre you're writing in it, and then it will keep the tone and language appropriate for your audience. And then it goes down to style and tell the story Bible about your style. This is basically exactly Story Engine, but it's incorporated into every single document so that every document has all of this information. And you can build out your entire 
Bible. And once you're done, you can start after you have all your outlines, you can, the matter of fact, this is one of those ones where I was doing an example for a video and I built out my story, I, my story craft template to create a big, long story in the whole nine yards. So I had a big story in the first place. It's pretty exciting that I can now do this natively inside of PseudoWrite. And there we go, y'all. And then as it you write everything out, it fills everything out just like usual. And what we're going to do is come out here and actually zoom even farther out. There we go. And you'll see over here in this side, all of this stuff is the same. And if I'm not mistaken, there's plugins right there. All those plugins that we've been working with, they are all right there. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is... <laughs> A very exciting and very short, sort of succinct video about what we have in store for the future of PseudoWrite and the future of writing with this program. I introduce you to Story Bible. <laughs> Y'all, come on. Story Bible. That's pretty exciting. It's one of those moments where you just have to sit back and say to yourself, boy, things are moving real fast and I've got to keep up. Well, if you've got to keep up, please like, subscribe, and please enjoy the rest of my videos because I try to be as enthusiastic and positive about AI and writing as I possibly can so that you have the North Star, somebody who is right there with you, helping you move forward into this new future that's generated in part or in whole by AI. All right, I will see you, ladies and gentlemen, in the next video.